Good afternoon, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Aniqua, and I'm the artist, the designer behind My Kind of Thing, a handmade company that specializes in one-of-a-kind handmade dolls, particularly dolls of color, and even more specifically, black and brown girls. And the mission and goal is to promote pride and confidence in children of color, particularly girls, in efforts to combat self-hate. So... I am finishing up this design and I don't want to reveal too much of it but this is a exclusive my kind of thing design and basically what I'm going to do is I am going to demonstrate how I put sprinkles on this exclusively cute design so if you've been following me you know that I was using the lion brand ice cream yarn right hey Deandra and what happens is uh, this one is called Tutti Frutti the thing is the color change takes a little bit longer than I wanted to to get the color sprinkles that I wanted and initially I was gonna just be really extra and try to find the the blue here and the pink and the kind of like uh, darker pink and a pale yellow and just do that hey Tara um, but then I was like, okay, you're doing too much. Maybe you just have to wind it and cut and take what you need. So it's giving me a little bit of anxiety, but I did wind. Thank you. I did wind to get the colors that I needed um, so that I can create the sprinkles. So I've already done the yellow and I've already done the pink and I've even done the darker pink. And so I had to wind to get the blue and that freaked me out i'm gonna be honest it freaks me out because i don't like to waste yarn so now i have to figure out what i can do with that that i've wound already but basically what i do is i take my darning needle and i thread it with a long length of the color because i'm going to be moving all over this head and so i'm gonna need it's like about um i want to say three feet of the color that I'm creating sprinkles with and so basically for those of you who are familiar with the my kind of thing university courses you know that we never just go any old where we actually go in between stitches and rows and so to start it off hey Tammy killer what's up you know what I gotta call you um so I'm gonna try to call you sometime today I miss you a lot of things going on and I saw those really cool earrings that you made for Yolanda even though it ain't her birthday hey Ray um, <laughs> yes thank you Deandra for always sharing okay so here we go so basically I pull it through right but not all the way through because I kind of want to lock this stitch in place so that it doesn't come out and so I take my darning needle and I kind of go back through there and then I just make sure I'm coming out where I want to go next and so I'm gonna come out here being mindful that I'm locking this stitch in place so when I pull right what it does is that little excess that I left out it kind of goes in and I can even help it by putting my hand there Hold on, let me just make sure I move it out the way and so basically as I'm pulling it's also pushing that little piece that was remaining down into the head. And I don't wanna tug it tightly. I don't wanna do that because I don't want her to have buckling in her head. So we're just gonna pull it gently. We're not gonna tug. And I use my yarn needle to kinda put down the excess. Um, then, just to make sure that it's cool, one sprinkle is done. And so, with this long length of yarn, I begin to move freely around the head. So I want it to go here, right? And I guess I'll maybe come out here. So it's kind of like you're planning where each sprinkle is going to go. So. I'm going in here, but I'm coming out there. And 
And again, we don't want to tug too tightly because then we'll have buckling in the head. So we want it to just create this sprinkle. We don't want to have a whole bunch of knots and lumps and bumps in her wig cap or her head. Um, and so I'm going to go here. And the trick is just try not to group the sprinkles too close together. So I don't want any of them like too close to each other because that might, you know, make it look a little whack. And I'm putting sprinkles all over her little ice cream head. Um, and so I'm doing that because I'm just extra. <laughs> right? It really does look delicious. Um, and so some people, you know, I, I notice when some people do uh, sprinkles, they probably will just like kind of centralize them in one space or place. But I actually wanted to have the sprinkles even on the drips. So as you can see, I'm putting sprinkles all on a drip because, you know, I'm extra. It took everything in me to not use any sparkle because um, I just was like, you know what, people are probably, you know, there are some people that are less, uh, you know, excited about sparkles and maybe uh, you can't find yarn that uh, is in the right colors in a sparkle. So I just figured I'd keep it simple especially when writing the pattern um, because I don't want anything to be overly difficult for people to create and so I'm gonna kind of go in there right but I'm gonna come out right here because I kind of want to sprinkle right here too but for the MKTU students y'all know we don't just go through stitches. We never bust through stitches. We only go in between stitches and in between rows. Never ever through a whole stitch because that's just savage behavior. Um, it messes up your work and for all the math that I've done and all of that, I don't want to mess up my stitches by doing stuff like that. So always either in between rows or on the side of stitches never through middles of stitches or anything like that we don't do that um here at the my kind of thing university but do you see how sprinkly and delicious she looks i'm super proud of her um let me tell you something else about this pattern it is an intermediate design because there are a few techniques there are about three techniques in here that are exclusive my kind of thing techniques that's one um and secondly they are not for the weak or impatient um first of all every single one of these drips are done differently so if you are a g like i know you are i'm gonna need you to have patience with yourself and your skill hey dashy uh, <laughs> thank you exactly Tammy we are not barbarians we do not bust through stitches ain't no savages over here um, but so each one of these drips that you see for her little ice cream head is done differently and the pattern indicates how to do all 13 drips you understand what I'm saying so that's the first thing and the way that the drips are done are an exclusive my kind of thing thing because it was important that I capture the actual shape of ice cream drips and in order to do that I had to use my crochet skills and really really use real crochet techniques that are also things you can do on other crochet projects um, and so just so y'all know that's one of the the crochet G actually is another it's a couple of um, exclusive my kind of thing techniques that you'll see when you do the pattern yes oh wait hold on I'm gonna turn it in a minute her sideburns right so listen because of the 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 fact that the drips are all different um, it also allows you to position the the wig cap in a bunch of different ways so peep the sideburn boom you see that sideburn then peep this peep this sideburn right here drip 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 on them <laughs> so I was told 
that when an ice cream cone is spilt, hey Katrina, it's called an oopsie cone um, because, you know, it's dropped and it's like nobody drops their ice cream on purpose. Um, so I thought it was a really cute way to describe having an ice cream cone accident. It's called an oopsie. Um, and so I think her name might have to include that. Um, we haven't come up with a name yet, but I'm going to tell you, see, the trick was I knew that people would assume that she was a unicorn because of the, the, the horn, right? But this is, I've been calling her an ice cream unicorn. So basically, those who guessed unicorn were correct and those who guessed ice cream scoop are correct. So both of those guesses are correct because both it serves as both a cone and a unicorn horn. So um, if you guessed that this was a ice cream cone or a unicorn lovey, you were both right. Um, because she is both the consensus was the cone is also the unicorn horn so that's my way of being a different without um you know without following trends because you know i like to do my kind of thing <laughs> hey matrell oh oh nice 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 <laughs> awesome welcome 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 hey chandra Yes, so if you guessed ice cream, you are right. If you guessed unicorn, you are also right. She is my ice cream unicorn design, and the pattern will be available in my online shop tomorrow, Wednesday, June 19th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you will have all of these exclusive my kind of thing techniques that I used for this design. Even my unicorn horn is not your typical unicorn horn. Um, and I'm excited about the techniques that I created specifically for this design. And like I said, for those of you who follow me, you will find, and you know, you can tell the people who don't know, um, that these things are interchangeable. If you've taken any of my other courses, if you've purchased any of my patterns, then you'll also know that you can take the techniques that you have from one pattern and apply them to another pattern. Um, this wig cap is reminiscent of lots of wig caps um, that I do. Uh, and if you understand what happens with these drips, you can totally make an ice cream unicorn doll um, using the techniques that you use um, but like most things with my work um, whether you take the online courses or you purchase the patterns understand that these designs and techniques aren't for you to just copy and paste and call your own to your design okay the techniques however are crochet techniques and can be used but don't just use my work and call it yours because you attached it to something you did um, so that's just my disclaimer. I own the rights to all my intellectual property as well as my written property. And it is a violation to call it yours if it isn't. Um, thank you, Carolyn. I love these colors too. And I, it really took everything in me. For those of you who know who I am and how I, how I, how I am about things, then you'll know that, um, it was very, very difficult <laughs> for me to, pull the colors out of this skein of yarn and just to get to the colors that I needed for the sprinkles it it almost killed me like I almost like had a a whole fit a whole fit and I know that that's a uh, a little extra but I am sometimes and I can't help it but basically if you're doing sprinkles this is a fun and easy way to add sprinkles to your design very very fun very very easy um, so as you can see, I actually made that disappear because I didn't want to put a sprinkle right next to that one. Um, but basically, I'm just putting sprinkles everywhere. I just want, I want her to have a whole head full of sprinkles. Um, makes her really, really even more cute. Um, and just in the spirit of the ice cream yarn by Lion Brand, I just thought it'd be really, really cute. Um. And so I'm just making sure that I have a nice distribution 
of the different colors that I'm using for sprinkles. Not too much of any one color in one space or place. Um, and it is a dreary day, but today I will be working on another design um, just to check my pattern to make sure that it works out the way I have it written. Um, I do have one tester who is going to test it for me, but um, because of how I operate and how I work, um, I don't anticipate any issues or difficulties with the design. I am actually going to pretty much just um, work on it today, fix whatever kinks I find in it, um, release it tomorrow, and update it as needed. Um, you know, because like I said, I'm a crochet Gito, so I don't anticipate having no issues. But on the off chance that I do, you know, I got you. Um, but I don't anticipate any um, issues because I've done it so many times and um, written it down. Probably done way more writing than normal people. Yes. And so that's the other cool thing about this design. It, it teaches the open mouth technique as well. For those of you who are not familiar with that, I'm just saying. If you haven't taken the mini doll uh, series, then, you know, you don't know about that. But, um, yeah. And so what happens is I'm going to wind up here, but I don't want a blue sprinkle next to a blue sprinkle. So the same place that I come out of, I'm going to go back in. And that's why it's important to go in between stitches or rows because on the chance that I'm in a place that I don't want to be, I can go back in there and come out somewhere where I would prefer my sprinkle to go. So, yup, yup. It's, oh my gosh, Tammy, I have so much to tell you. <laughs> but, um, but yes, boom. See, go right in where I came from. Gone is like I was never there. And then I could put my sprinkle where I really want it to be. So I want it to be like right here. And then I want another one like maybe in this vicinity. So I'm going to come out maybe like right here maybe. Is that too close to that one? No, it's not. Okay. And so, you know, because we ain't savages here. We go in between rows or in between stitches. We don't just bust through things. We're not monsters. Um... Let's see, I wanna come out maybe somewhere around here. But does everybody understand how we do sprinkles? At least the way that I do sprinkles and by no means is this the only way. It took everything in me to not say, you know what, forget this yarn, I'm about to use some rhinestones and put sprinkles. But if this is for a baby, rhinestones are a choking hazard. And so these sprinkles are a great alternative if you're creating a design for a child that is under three years old, you do not want to have anybody um, with a choking hazard. Um, so you wanna be mindful of that. Um, these loveys are actually a great gift for baby showers. Um, I have a new little cousin coming and happens to be a little girl. So that's exciting. I think I'll make her something similar to this. Shout out to Talia. <laughs> She's finally getting a girl after having two boys. <laughs> um, and that's always exciting. Um, <laughs> it is raining, but I'm here in New York. Um, so, you know. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Waikitha. But look how sprinkly and delicious she looks. I'm going to probably put a little bit more of the blue down here and maybe on more of the sprinkles see i got the drips all the way down to the back of her neck like that's how serious i was about this drip <laughs> but uh yep this is how we do sprinkles side note the dude screaming in the background is some teenager that plays video games across the way all the time with him whenever the weather gets warm i don't know he gets crazy he's playing a game and I guess he's playing online with friends or some crap like that. <laughs> Ignore him. Nobody's dying. He's just an, a really enthusiastic uh, gamer. Uh, let's see. <laughs> That's exciting. 
but uh yes so this ice cream unicorn lovey will be available tomorrow at 5 p.m eastern standard time um if you are interested in purchasing her i mean the design the pattern definitely check the shop um and if you are interested in taking the comprehensive my kind of thing university lovey course that teaches you how to create the lovey with the open mouth for the pacifier you can definitely do that this course teaches you from start to finish how to create the my kind of thing lovey um look at those sprinkles see and i almost didn't even do all of the pulling out because i was just like i cannot justify <laughs> cutting up this yarn the way i had to um oh <sighs> who loves to be featured in my life so oh the boy right here I don't know. He's 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 crazy. Like, and for those of you who've taken my courses, y'all know that every now and then there's a screaming guy in the background. That's him. He's just ridiculous. And I'm in New York City, so nobody's really that alarmed when we hear that kind of stuff anyway. Um, because New Yorkers are just very enthusiastic individuals and it'd be like that. But, oh my gosh, I love this uh, ice cream unicorn lovey and these colors are awesome now here's the other thing i'm going to do another one from start to finish and i'm going to use the pattern that i wrote and i'm going to be using this one now the deal with this one is that the sprinkles will already be here so i won't have to work as hard as i am with these sprinkles now of course it's going to change what this looks like the the granny square initially looks like but this one has the sprinkles built in. This one is called Sherbert. And so you see it has the flecks or speckles in it. This is what it looks like in granny square form. But we'll see um, what it looks like in granny square form versus single crochet form. That'll be a really cool experiment. Um, yes, the sprinkles were always a part of the plan. I just hadn't decided whether I was going to cut up this yarn um, so that it matches the the lovey part perfectly or not. But yeah, sprinkles were always a part of the plan and I kind of wanted to keep it under wraps too. I didn't want to show too much because, you know, sometimes when you show too much, somebody with more time and resources and following will totally swag a jack or jack your swag and then be out here acting like they did it first. Um, and so... Y'all ain't never seen no ice cream unicorn lovey nowhere else. This is the first place. And so this is how we get down. Now, if you see it any time after today, no. This is the originator of the design. So I'm just saying, you know, because Swagger Jack is a real. Um, so I'm just saying. It's getting harder and harder to be original or at least to be known for being original when you know so many people are just watching and stealing <laughs> so again the ice cream unicorn this is where you got the ice cream kind of unicorn vibe all at once boom look at her too cute i haven't committed to this pacifier though the reason why i haven't committed to this pacifier is because this yellow is too dark so if I could find a pacifier in a paler pink or a mintish kind of blue mint or uh, pale blue um, or pale aqua or any of these other colors um, like the pale yellow, then I'm going to definitely swap it out. But right now this is a placeholder because this is the only yellow one that I have. Shout out to Dawn Jesse for sending me a whole bag full of pacifiers in the size needed for my, my kind of thing lovey. Um, because my selection was very, very limited over here. Um, but yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to sprinkle right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back right in this space and maybe I need to put a sprinkle down on that drip over there by her neck. And what I want to do really is I want this video to show from start to finish how 
we create the sprinkles and how we even finish them. So I showed you how I started it because you have to be able to lock the stitch in the um the you want to be able to lock the um the stitch in place so that it doesn't come out over time too. <laughs> Yeah, well, see, here's the thing. I always got all these, like, bunches of ideas and things. And so, um, it's important that I, like, I'm learning to let go. How about that? So, let me see. I kind of want this one to have a drip. What else? Maybe a drip over, over here, too. And again, keeping in mind, we don't go through stitches. We go in between them or next to them. And this technique can be used to do a lot of things. Not just sprinkles, but also if you are someone who needs uh, things embroidered, this is actually a really useful technique to get comfortable with moving. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of it, Tammy. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of it. I'm, I'm working on it. You mean my, my studio samples? Are you referring to my very many studio samples as far as me keeping items in the house? Nah, I don't feel no major attachment to her. I've taken loads of pictures. She's for the pattern. Um, so I'm not really tripping too much. I don't think I'll have a hard time giving her to someone. And I also just think, um, because of how special she is, she can go to somebody special. Um, don't want to go here either because there's a sprinkle right there. So I'm going to go here. Going to go here. Going to come out by the unicorn horn. Careful not to get my darning needle caught up in the unicorn horn. Boom. And maybe I'll put this right here. And come out my heel. <laughs> Thank you, Carlotta. So I'm hype about this design because it's been on my mind for months. Um, and I actually, she was going to be a whole doll. But I was like, okay, you're probably doing way too much. Okay, so now, basically, this is the last sprinkle that I'm going to do. Because the yarn is getting super short. And... I don't want to have issues with locking the stitch. So basically, last sprinkle. And then I'm going to kind of go in like this. And then just come out in between somewhere else. Boom. And I can actually cut this. And I'm not worried about the sprinkle ever, ever coming out. And with that little piece left, this is what I do. I take my yarn needle and I kind of tuck it so that it doesn't, you know, because I'm anal like that. Boom. And she's good. Now, the only thing left for me to do is test my own pattern. And so... Ice cream unicorn lovey pattern will be released tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this video showing you how to create the sprinkles along with creating the drip because there's a special aspect of the drip that I want you to know um, because it may not come across as um, clear written. There's going to be the drip um, tutorial on YouTube and there's also going to be this this sprinkle video right here that we did just now on YouTube but thank you all so much for following and watching the my kind of thing University as I said there's gonna be loads and loads of cool things both paid and free through my kind of thing and I'll be doing it my kind of way um, so for all of those who are stuck in their habits and ways, um, that's your business over here. We do what we do and we love it. However it goes. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. I will see y'all next time.